I'm Debbie. I'm researching participation in digital citizen science. And I want to begin by acknowledging and paying my respects to traditional custodians here in the land we call Australia, but also in First Nations in South America who are now really struggling with fires. My talk is about unhelpful binaries. And this is just a conversation starter. So feel free to follow up on Twitter and email and also in the Q&A session. There's some problematic binaries and these are not new for you probably, but it's surprising that we keep on using them and they keep on shaping our practice and obscuring our understanding. The first one, you probably know very well because we are aware that volunteers are experts in their own right, though yet they're still equated to amateurs or non-experts most of the time. Um, even in citizen science conferences, we don't hear from volunteers themselves what they find, what they need, what they want. My insights coming from my research on the Frog Census program, um, not only some volunteers are actually professional researchers who struggle to see themselves as volunteers, some project organizers are volunteers in their own projects. They go beyond their work duties and their own free time to contribute. So what are the alternatives? What are the implications? We can keep the roles as descriptors, but we shouldn't make assumptions about differences in expertise and differences in motivations. We should also provide pathways for volunteers that want to do qualitatively more, such as become a program advocates. This leads me to a second binary. Sometimes when we look at participation, we focus on how many records volunteer contribute. However, um, when I ask what is an ideal participant, the answers pointed to qualitative differences. It's not about how many records they submit. It's about monitoring sites where information is missing. It's about monitoring regularly or being able to identify invasive and endangered species. Again, alternatives. I believe it's important that programs define and communicate different ways that participants can meaningfully help. The next binary is about sociality. Citizen science apps and platforms treat participants as individual data collectors, but are they individual? Sometimes data collection is done in pairs or groups. Other times participants choose or need to go in solitude. But even if they do choose that, Social interactions are important to begin monitoring in the first place and then to continue monitoring because sharing findings are um, a, a big incentive for them, for them to continue monitoring. So first of all, apps and platforms could allow for data points to be created collectively, but also programs uh, should identify how social interactions play a key role and then reinforce them, even if data collection continues to be seen as an individual task. The next binary, uh, programs assume sometimes that the nature connection is missing, that there's a disconnection. My insights are showing that both participants and project organizers have long histories with the species and the places that they monitor. And these histories are full of meaning and emotions. So the least we could do is reframe the objective and perhaps consider how we can enhance the nature connection and transform it in order to acknowledge the history of how participants relate to nature. Finally, um, this is what, yes, I, I, I'll do it. Um, my own PhD project, when it was advertised, it had the objective of finding what next generation citizen science could do to attract more people and younger people. The binary of the old versus the new is very present here, but my insights Oh, you know, digitalization has been going on for a long time. We've had emails for 20 years. We've had smartphones for 10 years. And technology keeps on changing. A technological upgrade such, um, you know, launching a new app can be positive for the project organizers. But it might be distressful for volunteers. They have to change practices when it happens. And sometimes they grieve over the, loose, the lost records that they worked so hard to collect. Additionally, project organizers, they know that in this pursuit for more volunteers, they might lose other important things, that apps with a massive uptake have multiple costs. So I will continue investigating this for the next two years, but um, I will, for now, I will say we shouldn't assume that digital and new is better. Um, technology will not be enough to increase participation and democratize science in and of itself. 
And for volunteers, digital platforms are part of their everyday life and technology changes have real life consequences that we need to understand better. So programs could investigate and look for ways to mitigate negative consequences of digital changes. My last slide. And let's continue the conversation. <laughs>